What's up everyone, I'm gonna unbox a new graphics card. Um, basically I've decided to return my um, GeForce uh, 1080 Founders Edition from EVGA. Due to uh, thermal and power issues, as an overclocker I thought uh, the card is not actually delivering what was promised. So I've ordered a new GTX 1080, this time it's from MSI Gaming X. As you can see all the goodies on the box. Supposedly it has better power, de power delivery and better thermals. Uh, but we shall see and um, further testing. I've done a lot of testing in, in the past week. I've done testing on Titan X uh, to compare it to um, the EVGA Founders Edition and I will be doing the same with this card. So let's go and unbox it quickly. Okay, so we have documentation inside this black box. CD, you get some stickers, and you get the large manual. Yeah, this is not a poster. <laughs> EVGA will give you a poster so for those who enjoy those things. It's important, I guess. Our registration papers, right, and the card itself. I actually like this packaging better than the. EVJ Founders Edition packaging, which came in just um, in this plastic. And first impression is holy shit, is this thing fucking big? So it says fans not spinning, don't worry, it's all under control. Uh, I really like the and the static bag they included, which I think was missing from the EVJ. Now I can't remember. This thing is so heavy, holy crap. Oh, this, this, this looks like a console. <laughs> it looks like a small console in itself. Holy shit. Okay, for comparisons. <laughs> I thought this was big, so you can see. Um, okay. So lengthwise, they're the same, right? But the, the PCB on the, I'm gonna put it on top. Okay. I'll try to sort of match it. I think it matches. Right now you can see how much bigger this is. Holy shit! Right? This is gonna st <sighs> This is gonna stick out. I mean if your if your um, computer case is small, just go with the founders edition. I think that's what the this is gonna be the standard for all the system builders. I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised to see this everywhere. So much heavy as well. Mm. Wait, no. Actually, I won't. I won't say it's that much heavier. Actually, I think this is heavier. Oddly enough. <laughs> wow, really, it's odd. Look at the differences in size. But, but this is heavier. See from front. I'm gonna try to hold both cards and not drop them. It's too expensive. Okay. As you can see, the layout is um, is a little different, but ultimately it's the same. Um, because this is a blower, it has these wider holes, and there actually there's more holes there.
you see the sides are all sealed. Except maybe this. So the fan blows all the air outside of the case. As you can see, only one power connection. Whereas on this one, you have two power connectors. I believe this is one uh, six pins and eight pins. And this one is just eight pin one. Once again, this is heavier. Uh, in my opinion, this looks cleaner. It looks slicker and cleaner, but from a power point, from power user perspective, <laughs> it is like putting a freaking console inside your tower. Holy shit, look at those pipes. Oh man. Uh, this should light up as LED. Uh, these parts light up. The fans are really big. I mean, they're wide. Not that big, big, but wide. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm just gonna show you the inside. You have um, your SLA connections here. I think that's about it. Okay, you can see it from the front here. So both cards, if you compare, they both have exhaust uh, in the rear, so to speak. But this one doesn't actually blow heat inside your case. Whereas this one will blow heat all sides. And that's why this is a better cooler, you know. Still has the back plate. The back plate has all the holes in it. Compared to the back plate on the reference, has no holes. They're both pretty, pretty slick. So the GeForce GTX 1080. Oh man, it's quite strange how this is much heavier. But this is so big. Fuck. This is probably the biggest video card I've ever had. I've never had those uh, double GPUs. On a single board so they probably they're probably longer this is really wide so yeah hopefully I'm gonna have enough time to do all the testing as I've been spending so much time with Brexit and um, and testing my um, fondest edition which again uh, if you are not an overclocker if you are just casual gamer and you have a smaller case this is the way to go this is going to be easier to SLI them as well because they're smaller. But if you care about the top performance, go with this one. Strangely enough, Nvidia promised um, the third party developers such as MCI to be cheaper, but it's not the case. In England, I paid for this when it came out, I paid um, 620 pounds on Amazon. And for this one, I had to pay 600, about 40, I believe, or 50 pounds on a scan. Uh, .co UK. That's an English um, retailer. And after Brexit, the, the prices are actually increasing right now. I've seen the uh, the standard EVJ go for uh, for the same 640 and 650. If you if you're lucky, you'll find it cheaper. But uh, yeah, the Brexit. Uh, <laughs> gonna really ruin the, the gamers as far as the wa your wallet goes you're gonna have to pay more okay that moment so this is how it would look like if I would try an SLI the MSI um, gaming X 1080 variety and uh, the founders edition of 1080 variety basically I haven't actually installed it yet because I haven't removed the, the side brackets here and um, it just rests upon upon my third PCI slot so this is the the point where it would be if I inserted it 
So as you can see, this is, there's massive difference in height. So if you have um, um, one of those um, solid bridges, it's not gonna work. So you would have the, one of those, um, you would need one of the flexible bridges if you want to SLI these two. And I would not recommend because they will operate on different clocks. So uh, this bad boy will have to down clock to the level of Founders Edition, which would be kind of pointless. And um, for someone like me with OCD, I really would hate that. So I'm gonna take it out carefully. As you can see, well, hopefully you can. I'm gonna move it closer. Basically, even in a quite large mid tower, this is not the biggest tower. If you install this card, you pretty much can only SLI two way. Since you would have to install in the third PCI Express your second card. And well, maybe if I move the, the power supply somehow, I could install the third one, but I doubt it. It just doesn't look like you can four-way SLI and this is as you can see um, X99 system it's uh, Asus Strix X99 Gaming which is a Broadwell E motherboard which supports four-way SLI but not with a cooler like this right if you find this helpful if you have any comments comment and uh, support me by subscribing and liking the video Cheers for watching.